this video, I'm going to work out one example where I write the equation in point-slope form of the line that contains the two given points. And then I'm going to rewrite that equation into slope-intercept form. So first, over here on the right-hand side, I've got just a review of what the two different forms look like. Point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So given two points, the first thing I need to do is calculate the slope. So I'm going to use y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. All right, now, if you need to label the points, all right, the first point is the 4, negative 2. That would have the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 because it's the first point. The second point is 9, negative 8, so it would be x sub 2, y sub 2. That will help you when you plug them into the slope formula so you don't accidentally make a mistake. So I can do negative 8 minus a negative 2 all over a 9 minus a 4. All right, simplifying there, that negative 8 minus a negative 2 is going to be a negative 6. 9 minus 4 on the bottom is going to be a 5. So I have my slope. Now... The first part of the instructions say write an equation in point-slope form. So for point-slope form, I need, obviously, a, the slope, but then I also need a point. So I can choose either the first point or the second point. It doesn't make any difference. I'm going to choose that first point. So I'm going to use the first point, and I'm going to use the slope that I just calculated to write point slope form. So let's go point slope form. Is going to be y and then my using that first point the y coordinate is a negative 2 and we remember with point slope form when you put it in you're going to put in the opposite so I'm going to have a plus 2 is equal to my slope which is negative 6 over 5 times x. Looking at that x coordinate there, it's 4, so I want the opposite, so minus 4. So there is my point-slope form of the equation. The second part of the instructions say to then rewrite that into slope-intercept form. So I'm just going to algebraically manipulate this first answer here. All right, let's actually box this in, though, so that we know that that's our first answer. All right, now we're going to take the equation. I'm going to rewrite it down here. I'm going to have y plus 2 is equal to negative 6 over 5 times the quantity x minus 4. All right, now the first thing I want to do in slope-intercept form, I'm just going to distribute that negative 6 fifths. Okay, so I'm going to distribute the negative 6 fifths to the x and to that minus 4. So then I'm going to have y plus 2 is equal to negative 6 fifths x, and then multiplying a negative 6 over 5 times a negative 4 is going to give me a positive 24 over 5. All right, now at this point in time, um, I need to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation because for y equals mx plus b, everything has to be on the right-hand side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 2 and then subtract 2. All right, so coming up here, so I have a little bit more room here, I'm going to have y is equal to a negative 6 fifths x. All right, now I've got to subtract 24 over 5 minus 2. All right, there's a variety of ways to do this. You can use calculator, you can do it longhand. Um, let's go ahead and do that longhand. Just assuming that you're not allowed to use calculator. So if I had 24 over 5 and I was going to subtract 2 over 1, I would need to get common denominators. So I would have 24 over 5 minus 10 over 5. Now I can actually subtract those. That's going to give me a 14 over 5. All right, so that's something you would have either done on the margin of your paper or used a calculator however you're allowed to do that in your class. And then going ahead and putting that answer back in for that B. So plus 
14 over 5. So then there is the answer in slope intercept form. All right, so this is pretty common in an Algebra 1 class. You've got to um, be able to manipulate point slope form, slope intercept form. A lot of times they will only give you two points to start with, so you use that y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 formula. You find the slope, and then you go from there. Point slope form is one of the easiest forms to use because you only need two things. You need a point and a slope. If you can calculate the point, or calculate the slope, and you are given a point, then you can instantly write point slope form. And then it takes just a little bit of algebra to manipulate into slope intercept form. So definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.